The Omada cloud-based controller provides 100% centralized cloud management of Omada access points, switches, and routers without any hardware controller investment and installation on customer premises. To manage and configure devices on the cloud-based controller, each of them should be bound with an activated license. This video will guide you through setting up the Omada cloud-based controller and configuring licenses for devices. Visit the Omada Cloud Portal at omada.tplinkcloud.com and log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have a TP-Link ID, sign up for one and activate it. After successfully logging into the cloud-based controller, click Add Controller and choose Cloud-based Controller, then click Register. When the cloud-based controller is successfully registered, a prompt will pop up for setting up the controller. Click Setup Now. Then, you will be directed to the Omada Setup Wizard to configure the controller settings. Next, create a site and device account for the controller. If you are setting up Omada access points, you can configure Wi-Fi settings on this page. If not, you can skip ahead. Finally, when all the settings are done, check them via the Summary page. Click Finish if everything is OK and then you will be directed to the cloud-based management interface. Go to License, Omada Cloud-Based Controller. Click Assign Licenses to Controller in the upper right-hand corner. Check your remaining licenses, select the controller, and specify the quantity of licenses to assign. Click Confirm. The licenses will be assigned to the controller. After license assignment, you can revoke licenses if the controller no longer needs them. On the same page, go to License, Omada Cloud-Based Controller. Click Revoke Licenses in the upper right-hand corner. Select the controller and specify the quantity of licenses to revoke. Click Confirm. The licenses will be revoked and can be assigned to another controller if needed. Click Launch on the Cloud-Based Controller Management Interface. Then you will be directed to the Management Interface of your controller. Go to the License page. Enable Auto Active and enable Auto Renewal for sites. Please note that Auto Active will automatically apply a license to a device as soon as it is adopted by your controller. Auto Renewal for sites will automatically renew the licenses on the sites when they expire for active devices. Launch your controller, go to Devices, and click Add Devices. Type in the SN code and choose a site. Click Confirm, and the devices will be successfully added. Devices not powered nor online can also be added. They will display as pre-configured with the unactivated license status. Once powered and connected to the internet, their statuses will update to provisioning. If you attempt to add more devices than available on assigned licenses, a prompt will appear, indicating the need to allocate sufficient licenses to the controller first. Then click Activate. In the License Status section, choose the license to bind. You can bind a new license or a used license. If you have many used licenses, you can search by License Key or Mac. When you no longer need to manage a device via the cloud-based controller, you can unbind its license and assign it to other devices. Click an activated device to open the Properties window. In the License Status section, click Unbind. The license will be unbound and can be bound to another device if needed. Please note that unbinding a device license will maintain the device's current configuration but it will no longer receive Omada Cloud-based controller services like fast roaming, mesh failover, and portal access. A license can be unbound up to 10 times its duration in years. For instance, a 5-year license has a maximum of 50 unbindings. Reaching this limit results in the license's immediate expiration.